How's it going, Lazy Bruce? Is up, Bobby Six Killer. Welcome to an impressions video we're going to be doing on a game called MAZM Phantom of the Opera or MAZM Phantom of the Opera. I'm not too sure. Um, this is the second game in the series that at least has been released on PC. I think it's also on mobile devices. Not too sure. But I intended to cover the last one, which was uh, Jekyll and Hyde, I believe. But we never got around to it. But the uh, developer was kind enough to send us over a copy this morning. It released today on Steam. As far as I'm aware, so let's jump in, do half an hour and see what we think of it, eh? I can't do that. Raul, I can't just leave like this. Please, Christine, I beg of you. If you love me, please prove it to me again, right here, in this moment. Won't you leave the city with me and be happy? I've made up my mind. We get to make a choice already? What is this? I can speed it up? What's the point? Oh, I mean, maybe it's a skip button, so we can skip the dialogue we've seen. Okay. Let's roll. Sorry, I had a sneeze attack already. Alright. <clears throat> Back to it. Roll. I... Game over. <laughs> the end. You win. October 29th, 1910, Paris, France. That's probably a worry, because I can't do French words. You're all aware of that. According to the letter, we had to meet here today in front of the Opera House. Also, she mentioned she'd wear a brown dress with green embellishments so that I could recognise her. Ah, that must be her. She won't recognise me, so I should go talk to her. Do I click and move? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll click and move. Click the light bulb. Click the screen to move to the spot and click the light bulb for a hint. I see. I think I can handle that. Maybe. <laughs> oh, look at that cat. God damn it. <coughs> Pardon me, madame. You must be Baroness Castellot Barbazak? Yes, that's right. And you are? Quite a mouthful you got there. I mean, the name. Nothing else. <laughs> Alan Bouquet sent me. I believe you received the letter yesterday. Ah, you're from Mr. Bouquet's daughter. Lovely to meet you. I saw you looking around from afar, so I assumed you must be the person. Hmm. I guess I should formally introduce myself. Hajimamashite. Click the speech bubble near the character to start a conversation. Okay. I should talk to the Baroness. Okay. Hello, madam. It's an honour to meet you. <laughs> you don't have to be so formal with me. Just be safe. Can you prove that Mr... Is it Bouquet, maybe? Bouquet's daughter sent you here? I like that better. Of course, madame. Here's... <laughs> of course. Thanks, wind. You dick. Ah, my letter. Click on the magnifying glass to investigate. So it's like a point-and-click game. I can handle that. i played point-and-click games since I was like seven. I can handle that. Here you go, madame. Great, this will do. Maybe that's where I got my moon logic from. <laughs> Since uh, point and click games warped my fragile little mind when I was seven. Since you insisted on meeting me in, per in person, this must be an important matter. What is, that you what is it that you want from me? My client contacted you after she found this news article about her late father in you. A news article? If you don't mind, can you briefly read it to me? Click when the cursor appears in a blank area. What? Joseph Bouquet. Okay, so it's some kind of mini game. Baroness. Testicle. Nope, the Phantom of the Opera. I was close. <laughs> Joseph Bou Bouquet. At least after death, with the help of Baroness Castellot Barbazak, calls of death the Phantom of the Opera. Interesting. Oh, that one. Then how can I help you? Upon my client's request, I have researched everything about the news article so that I can find out the truth about Mr. Bou Bouquet's death. But there was one truth I was never able to discover. The Phantom of the Opera. <gasps> she looks a lot more disturbed in that picture than she does in that one. That that's... Madame? Are you aware of the Phantom of the Opera? Why does it mention the Phantom of the Opera in this article? No. 
<laughs> what do you mean, no? Don't try to find out about the Phantom. Uh, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can tell you. Madame, did you know that Mr. Bouquet died one day before his daughter's birthday? What? I didn't know that. I'm, I'm truly sorry. She was expecting a surprise gift, but instead received her father's obituary. Uh, I knew nothing about it. How devastated she must have been. Even still, no, I can't. Please, don't feel too pressured. But please, I'm pressuring you anyway, tell me. My client, <laughs> Ellen Bouquet, doesn't expect anything grand. Then, when she first explained the job to me, she told me in a tired voice that she just wants to know what the Phantom of the Opera is. That which stopped her father from making good on his promise to his little girl. <sighs> Way to lay on the guilt trip there. That closure would finally bring her peace and happiness in life. If you could tell us even the smallest details, it would help greatly. I ask of you. Must I speak about the Phantom? For 30 years, Mr. Bouquet's family has been desperately in pursuit of the truth. If I keep my silence, perhaps it's not breaking the promise if I don't divulge everything. Yes, just a little. Alright, I'll tell you the story. Thank you, madame. Let's talk inside the opera house. Ah, oh, am I gonna get killed? God damn it, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Great. I can now hear about the story. I shall follow it into the opera house. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, I can handle that. First, can you promise me one thing? That you would never speak of my story to anyone else. I give you my word, madame. I will never let the story out. Thank you. Madame, is there a reason you want to talk specifically in the opera house? <laughs> so that the Phantom of the Opera can drop a penny on her head from the roof. The story begins here at this very opera house. The horrifying tale of the Phantom of the Opera. Look at that kitty! It happened 30 years ago, when I was only a young dancer. I still remember vividly, rather, I was not able to forget. What exactly did this phantom do? If I meet the phantom, will I be able to learn the truth? No, don't you dare! Anyone who defied him. Anyone who took interest in him. Anyone who tried to identify him. It didn't end well. What happened to them? Some died. Some had to leave us for good. And some... were thrown into the dead zone. Were deeply hurt beyond repair. <laughs> Everything because of the Phantom of the Opera. I'm so sorry, madame. My deepest condolences. I can't tell you everything right now, but I do hope my story can help in some way. Thank you. Thank you so much, madame. Some thought of the Phantom as merely a rumour. Others blamed the Phantom for some connected con confidences. But... Connected confidences? Coincidences? I don't know what that said. <laughs> Whatever. Now we're going back in time. Woo, back in time. Oh, I see. Oh, so it's actually got a... It's got a... Uh, what you call it? A flowchart. That's nuts. Dang. Prophecy. You never know what could happen. Let's jump in. There's a full-on flowchart. This shit ain't fucking around, man. Impressed. The Baroness's story begins 30 years ago. On June 15th, 1880. It was a day which changed everyone's fate. Twelve days before the farewell party's special performance. I do love the art. The art style is so beautiful, man. I love the character art. I love the background art. It's brilliant. What? You want me to take the lead role in the farewell party performance? Please, Mr. Da... Miss... Die? I beg of you. 
<laughs> only you can be on the stage as Marguerite, the main role of the opera Faust. I'm begging you, without Ms. without you, Miss Day, this performance would be an absolute failure. Please just think about it. Sir, I'm sorry, but I'm only a chorus member and a liability to the team. There are many other singers in this opera house. Why should I take the main role? It's not about your talent, it's more to do with the one who recommended you for the role. He wants you, Mr. Da Miss Day, to take the main role as the special perfor to the special performance. Recommended me over the others? <clears throat> yes, a very important, great person. Am I right, Polygony? Debbie N is right. Just know that the man who recommended you is of great prestige. I see. I assume he has high expectations for you two and this opera house. And that is exactly why we're here on our knees, Miss Day. Him too. But we desperately wish to retire after successfully hosting this farewell party, please. Uh, well, in that case, yes. I'll take the main role. I hope I don't ruin the performance for you two. Thank you, Miss Day. Thank you. I owe you my deepest gratitude. You'll be great on stage. Is it really okay for me to take this role? But it's not possible to turn them down when they seem so desperate. But who could it be? You're also reluctant to tell me. Lots of people to talk to. Ah, what's going on over there? Oh, I'm controlling you now. So we go talk to some peeps. The cat! Let's go pet the cat. Mr. Bouquet, please stop saying such things. What if something bad really happens? Oh my, I'm saying that people need to listen to me. I told you, I saw it with my own eyes. Christine, just in time. Can you please try and stop Mr. Bouquet? He won't listen to me. Me? Hmm. Is something wrong with Mr. Bouquet? He doesn't look very happy. Put it that way. Hello, Mr. Bouquet. Good morning, Christine. What's going on? Uh, Mr. Bouquet won't stop talking about the Phantom of the Opera. What if the Phantom retaliates? He even says he saw it himself. Mr. Bouquet seen the Phantom of the Opera? Really? Yes, it happened just yesterday. Oh my god, are we going back in time again? This is going to be like... Inception. I was in the basement inspecting the stage settings. Then the Phantom of the Opera appeared before me with his black cape fluttering. So I wielded my hammer. Mjolnir. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Enough with the phantom story. What if the phantom shows up because of you? Speak of the devil and it might actually appear. Well, don't you think that's why we need to find out about the phantom? Everyone knows about the phantom in the opera, but I'm the one who's actually seen him. Hey, Joseph, aren't you worried about your distraction? How your distraction might worry ruin the performance? Nonsense. If any of you had seen the Phantom yourself, you wouldn't dare talk to me this way. Right. You sure it wasn't just a bad dream? You've been working all late these days for the farewell party. You'll see. I'll prove that I've seen the Phantom. Me and my damn fine moustache. You'll think I'm talking gibberish. In the end, you'll know what I was right. Your perfectly kept moustache. Christine, you also think I'm talking nonsense? Um, honestly, it's disturbing, but... Yeah, I was a fool to believe someone would listen. I must try to find the evidence. Uh, Mr. Bouquet? Okay, well, Paddy's coming up. Is it okay if he's distracted like this? I'm not one to say. I need to put all my effort into practicing for this performance. I also need to ask for his permission. Who's permission to do what now? Then came the day of June 27th, 1880. It was the day of the farewell party to celebrate the retirement of the joint managers, Debienne and Polygony. At the Opera House, the final rehearsal for the special performance was happening on stage. You can say mop man. Oh, I must hurry, or I'll be late for rehearsal. What is this? Joseph Bouquet. Hello, washerman. It's been closed down. What is? 
Attend the rehearsal. I guess we're doing that on the stage then, right? I can't believe there are hints already. Why would we need hints yet? <laughs> that would be insane. Pathfinding's not bad. Which is <laughs> nice. Right on time, Christine. The second act was just about to begin. A special performance can't go on without Marguerite. I'm so sorry I'm late, it won't happen again. Alright then, everyone to their positions. Has anyone seen Mr. Bouquet? Why are you looking for Mr. Bouquet here? We're rehearsing right now. I need his input, but I can't find him anywhere. Perhaps he went out looking for the Phantom. He's been doing that for weeks now. On the day of the farewell party? Not likely. Maybe he fell sick. I agree, Mr. Bouquet is not so irresponsible. That's totally what he's doing, right? We're running out of time, so let's get it done with Mr. Mo 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 Claire. <laughs> Fine, I guess that works. Everyone, if you see Mr. Bouquet, then tell him that we're looking for him. Sure, you walk through that man. Should Mr. Bouquet be searching for the Phantom on such an important day? Something's not right. Well, it looks like the performance will be fine. So let's continue the rehearsal for the special performance. Yes, I need to focus on what I should do right now. Do it, Doug. Holy crap, this is strong coffee. Woo! <sighs> Everyone, gather around. Let's take a short break. Okay. I need to make an announcement. First of all, I must truly thank Christine Day, who's filling in for Carlotta. I had no idea Miss Day could sing so beautifully. I agree, the choir director used to complain about Christine singing, but she couldn't hit the high notes or enunciate. <laughs> thank you so much, but I still have a long way to go. I wish I had more time to practice. Not at all, you are amazing. The special performance will be a huge success. <laughs> Well then, shall we go again? Everyone to their positions. Give me 10 minutes, then we'll go again. I'm so nervous, I forget which scene is coming up next. I should ask Mr. Fonta. Who the hell's Mr. Fonta? Is it this guy? Yep. Pardon me, Mr. Fonta, which scene is this? Ah, do you remember the duet in the third act? We'll take it from there. Thank you. What's happening? <gasps> this music. It's beautiful, but it also gives me the creeps. Where is this coming from? Is this a funeral march? Funeral march. This is definitely a funeral march. What? A funeral march? Uh, I didn't notice at first, but he's, she's right. Why is a funeral march playing? Is there a funeral? Did someone die? Someone's about to. Wait a minute. This is the sound of a pipe organ, right? In our opera house, there is no pipe organ. And you can't really move a pipe organ. <laughs> Not easily, anyway. What's going on? Mr. Fonter, is it safe to continue the rehearsal? What should we do? <clears throat> Just to be safe, let's stop the rehearsal. Everyone, you're dismissed. Hurry. <laughs> Run! A song for the dead on a day of celebration. This funeral march, I have a bad feeling. Well, I mean, yeah. I should return to my dressing room. I assume that it's played specifically to give you a bad feeling. <laughs> I can still hear the funeral march. <gasps> oh, it's finally stopped. Did I leave the door open? Hello. <laughs> What's happened? The girls are here already. What the hell is she doing? Christine, what took you so long? Christine! Yes, a little chat with the girls will help me forget about what just happened. Oh, now I'm gonna have to think about names again. Sorelli and Jamez? Jamez, did something happen at your rehearsal today? Don't even mention it, I was infuriated, but I had to control myself. What happened? 
My cats. I slipped out for a minute to feed my cats and the choreographer went crazy at me. It was messy. I guess he's on edge because of the special performance. But if not me, who would feed the cats? Everyone just strokes the cats but never feeds them. Sorry. At this point, I'm not sure if you come to the opera house to work or see the cats. And why can't I be the first class solo dancer? Everyone knows that I can jump higher and spin longer than anyone else. Oh, Jamez, we know that's true, but the world doesn't work that way. <gasps> By the way, who do you think recommended Christine for the lead role? Hmm. I'm not sure. Perhaps Mr. Debian or Mr. Poligny would let me know after the performance? Probably. At least I don't think it's the same person who re recommended Meg as the principal dancer. So really, you shouldn't say such things behind her back. Why not? Everyone knows that Meg dances like a calf in a field. <gasps> Watch and do as I do, okay? Do I have to? I think Sorelli has something to say. Sorelli, are you done with your rehearsal? Of course, the choreographer was all over us, but I had a job to do. I also escaped along with her. What's the job you need to do? A farewell speech. Mr. Debian and Mr. Poligny asked me to give the farewell speech. Written by Sorelli herself. Wow, Sorelli. Since when were you able to write such, such words? I agree, even when I had to write her love letters. Shut up, just listen to what I have to say. <coughs> Dear Honourable Managers, I, Sorelli Dupont, would like to convey my tribute <laughs> ever since the hallowed, hallowed Opera House began. Sorelli, it's tribute, not tribute. Also, you might want to use hallowed instead of hallowed. Shut up! Fancy words can be confusing. How about using easier ones? Christina, it's no use. Anyone who dared to teach her how to spell ended up God knows where. Some say they quit their jobs at the Opera House, but I think... You keep quiet, you cheeky little brat. I think she has them stored under her bed. In pieces. <laughs> so who recommended you for the role? Don't you know yet? I have no idea. And the managers won't tell me. Yes, yeah, a recommendation is still a recommendation. I want to hear you sing, sing. I was curious as well. Can we hear it? Sure, I can sing one verse. You can sing without the musical score if you're nervous. Oh, with the musical score. What is this? I want it. Jewel song? Fine, then I'll sing a verse from the Jewel song. Christine, I found a letter. I'm sorry. What's going on? Meg, you caught us at the wrong time. Christine was just about to sing. And why are you so late? I apologize for being late. I was being scolded because I kept tripping over. <laughs> Aww. I have no idea how you became the principal dancer. Me neither. Sorelli, don't be too harsh on her. It happens when you're nervous. Are you okay? You're not hurt. I'm fine, thank you, Christine. What the hell? I thought you went and hid in the cupboard. What's that you just said? You found a letter. Ah, uh, this... It was an address, but it had to Christine written on the envelope. Wanna take a look? Yes. Of course. A letter for me? Is there anyone to write to me? <gasps> Not me, I always stamp a cat paw on the letter. Just like this. Ah, that explains the threatening letters demanding snacks at the Opera House. <laughs> so cute, so adorable. Makes me feel less nervous. Is that from a real cat, or did you make it? Of course I made it. It's cruel to force cats to stamp their paws. She's a crazy cat lady. And who could have written this letter? Surely not one of us. I know, maybe the manager sent it as a good luck message. <laughs> Makes sense. Probably for you to read before you perform. If so, I'd leave it for now. It's too much pressure. It's probably not that. Managers are unaware that sending such letters make us even more nervous. Don't you agree? I know, especially when our hearts are already racing because of the farewell party. Don't you think the hall is cleaner than usual? The flowers are fresh today too. Indeed, also the stage wasn't squeaking as much as usual, right? Yes, I was on stage just now and I saw all the broken props were fixed. Everyone in the Opera House is doing their best. Although I did my best at tripping over. 
Speaking of the stage, how was the stage man and manager, Mr. Bouquet, today? We told him to stop freaking out, but he won't stop going on about the Phantom for days now. Three days or so, he started the Phantom talk again, so I had to run, leaving the cat treats behind. Pretty soon I'll memorize all his Phantom stories, don't you agree? Everyone stating one thing Mr. Bouquet has mentioned about the Phantom. Stay one thing. Black cape. Long black hair. Arm of a dead man. White pale face with a top hat. Mr. Bouquet said he tried wielding a hammer at the Phantom. But what use is that? He's a Phantom. Indeed, he's seen the Phantom around three times. The lady wasn't hurt. Maybe the Phantom is harmless after all. Perhaps it's fine as long as he doesn't enter my dreams. Although, everyone tells me to be careful. Oh yes, did you hear the pipe organ being played earlier? Yes, the beautiful yet plaintive sound of music. I was enchanted by the music during the rehearsal. What was that? It was a funeral march. Did someone die? If not, why would anyone suddenly play a funeral march? I'm not sure. Also, there's no pipe organ in this opera house. Are you saying that everyone at the opera house heard things? That's not possible. A funeral march played by a pipe organ in an opera house without one. How is this happening? Stop it, if we keep talking about it, it might actually come true. What if someone actually died and the funeral march played? Oh my god, save us! <laughs> Calm down, Jimmies. It was just the wind. Wind inside the opera house, that's nonsense. Someone's here to kill us. We're all gonna die, help! Save our souls and the cats too! <laughs> Be quiet. Jamis, don't worry. I'll go check what's going on. Honestly, I'm a bit scared, but it should be fine, right? Sure. Should be right. <laughs> Christine, stay here. What are you going- where are you going empty-handed? I need to go find where that noise is coming from. No, you stay right here. I'll go check on it. Phantom or not, I can take care of whatever came to harm us. No, 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 don't. I don't want you to die. Can't you let us handle it? Is someone there? Answer if you're human. Show yourself if you're a phantom. Surrender before my dagger. What's happening? Show yourself. What, are you afraid? Sorelli, be careful. Come on, girl, run away. Meow. Huh? A cat? Must be one of Jamis's cats. <sighs> what? We're worried over nothing? Wait, something's not right. I know all the cats in this opera house. But just now, that wasn't one of them. I know all the cats sound different, but... Is it possible to recognize all of them? You may have heard wrong because of all the stress. You need a rest, Jamis. A cat, not a phantom. Hmm. What was that cat doing near my dressing room? Did Jamis leave treats there? Oh come on, that wasn't a cat. Also, I only feed the cats at specific spots. <gasps> and if my cats encounter the phantom, they will attack him. Meow. Um, if I may, let's discuss what actually matters. Go on. Do you have any idea what you're talking about? What? What does she mean by that? What the hell? <laughs> he went to inspect the stage settings, and he hasn't returned since. He's overly engrossed in his job. Wait, what's that? Hang on, everyone stop what you're doing. Is that a human hand? Th that's... Mr. Bouquet. Mr. Bouquet. Mr. Bouquet. Why is he so still? Is he... He's cold. Not breathing. Mr. Bouquet.
Badoom. Mr. Bouquet's dead, but this is in the back of back back time. Anyway, all right, we're gonna wrap it up. This that finished perfectly at the half hour point. There enough, close enough about. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm curious about how these uh, how this expands. Is there? Is that the end of the chapter? Is that the end of the game? How much more uh, offshoot is is the story gonna be able to do? I need to know more. But anyway, let me know if you want to see more. Otherwise, that is. Mazm Phantom of the Opera or M-A-Z-M Phantom of the Opera there'll be a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself if you want to see more make sure you let me know uh, leave a comment hit the like button whatever hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one